Thank you very much, Mike. Uh, can you see the screen? Yes. yes. Okay, so uh, Newton X is a program for excited state dynamics, non-adiabatic excited state dynamics. And since I started the development of the program in 2005, it has been used in over 200 stu studies. It's really uh, considered a case of success in an environment where most of academic programs just are developed and die after, after a couple of years. However, when you open the box and look at the code, it's a complete mismatch of, uh, of uh, programming languages, uh, programming styles, with excess of I.O., convoluted code, no optimized routines, no optimized data format, and very unclear development in protocol. It means that you have a development nightmare in hands, and is it possible to bring it up to date? This is the question that I want to bring and discuss with you here in this talk. Uh, my name is Mario Barbati. I'm a professor of chemistry at the Aix Marseille University in France. The Aix Marseille University is the biggest uh, French university. It has campus in Marseille and Aix, right at the sea. And Marseille is the second biggest city in, in, in France, just after Paris, with some astonishing. Uh, sea and landscapes, like, as you can see. In Marseille, I lead the light and molecule groups, uh, group. It's a group uh, dedicated to mixed quantum classical dynamics, development of methods for, for, for dynamics, which are implemented in the, in the Newton X program and then applied to photoprocesses in funda fundamental physical chemistry, molecular biology organic devices, environment, and several other topics. Uh, the group right now is composed, has myself as a PI, Baptiste Demoulin as a IT, Pratik, Saikat, Max and Josene are postdocs, Marianne Vitan are grad students. And let's talk a little bit about how to simulate excited state dynamics. So if we're looking at the photochemistry and the photophysics and molecules, we're looking at the time evolution of the nuclear wave, wave packet through the manifold of uh, electronic states. And uh, we do that via a mixed quantum classical dynamics, which means that we're going to split the, the system in two subsystems with slow and fast particles. We treat the slow particles uh, via classical trajectories. The slow particles usually are the nuclei. And the fast particles, the electrons, are treated uh, quantum mechanically. Then you use an adiabatic algorithm to ensure um, a self-consistency between the two subsystems. The advantage of using uh, mixed quantum classical dynamics is that you don't need any pre-computed uh, potential energy surface. You don't need to build potential uh, model Hamiltonians. And all electronic quantities are computed on the fly only at the classical nuclear geometry. Our favorite flavor of uh, mixed quantum classical dynamics is the surface hopping, very well known surface hopping, where you propagate the classical nuclei on a single potential energy surface and allow the trajectory to change the surface via a stochastic algorithm, which means that you have to compute the transition probability between electronic states every time step, you compute a full trajectory and the ensemble of trajectories represented in the nuclear wave packet. Uh, for example, I can quickly show here one trajectory for surface hopping where you see adenine, look at this graph in the top, adenine is in the first excited state, the green state. And as soon as it gets close to intersection, it goes to the red state, the ground state, and then thanks to the, to the surface hopping algorithm. Of course, this trajectory alone doesn't tell much. You need uh, hundreds of trajectories to be able to, to, to accumulate statistics and tell something about the system. So the Newton X program is going to do that. It's mainly for doing surface hopping dynamics and processing nuclear, nuclear ensemble of, of geometries like spectrum or, or initial conditions. And finally, you do the data analysis also in, the, in Newton X. Newton X is a, is a freeware program and open source. 
and it has uh, had three uh, versions, version zero, one, and two. The let, latest one was released in 2016. Right now we're in the version 2.2. And the development started at the University of Vienna in 2005 when I was a, a, a senior scientist, Hans Lischke. It was an initial collaboration between myself, Hans Lischke, uh, Giovanni Granucci, and Mauricio Persico. And later in 2006, Irji Pitna joined the, the, the group of develop, uh, the developers. Right afterward, we had also the, the inclusion of uh, Rachel Crispoter and Fle Felix Plasser among the core developers. And today in, in Marseille, you have a few people dedicated to, to development of Newton X, Patik, Saikat, Max, and Baptiste. We have external developers working on topics of, of uh, specific topics in Newton X. And we have also ex external groups developing uh, algorithms that eventually become part of Newton X. The program is, is interfaced to different electronic structure programs like Columbus, Bagel, Games, Gaussian. And then you can do the dynamics or this, all of the simulations using your favorite electronic structure from a rigorous but very expensive MRCI to an expensive time dependent uh, density functional tight binding. And doing dynamics, it means that you start by creating initial conditions for, for, for your trajectory, the, the initial position, the initial velocity the initial uh, coefficients of the, of the electron time-dependent wave function and the initial, telling what's the initial trajectory, the your dynamic, uh, your initial state at your dynamics A, uh, your trajectory is. And then you do a loop. You start at time zero until the maximum time. You call an external program that's going to use the position to get the energy, potential energy, gradient, and wave function. And then using the gradient, you can solve the Newton equation to get the position the next time step and the velocity. If the program can't give a neuromatic coupling, Newton X is going to compute the couplings out of the, of the wave functions and using the coupling to solve a, vers a local version of the uh, time-dependent Schrodinger equation to get the, 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 the electronic coefficients for the next time step. Then you use the couplings and these uh, coefficients to get the new surface that the molecule is going to be propagated uh, on, and you can iterate time. To give us a, a feeling of what's possible to do if you Newton X right now, you can uh, go for a very high level method like XMS, KSPT2, and uh, uh, do dynamics for a small molecule like cyclohexadiene with 14 atoms and half a picosecond per trajectory. On the other hand, you can take a large molecule of 100 atoms like cycloparaphenylene and do, and do dynamics for three picoseconds using a low accuracy method like uh, TD, the FTB. So you can do whatever you want in, betw in between these two limits. But Newton X goes much beyond uh, uh, conventional dynamics. It's also a platform for, for, for development. And with the collaboration of Pablo Drali in, in, in Shaman, we have implemented recently, for instance, uh, a nuclear ensemble approach based on machine learning where you can uh, push the, the precision of the, of the, of the cross-section simulation, absorption cross-section simulation to the limit using Gano re re regression. Another recent development was the few switch surface hopping on compl complex evaluative surfaces collaboration of uh, Fabrice Kozowski, uh, where you propagate the dynamics on a complex surface to allow uh, to simulate a quantum open system where you don't have conservation of the norm. Uh, that's the case, for instance, of the, of the names of transition ion, when you have uh, non-diabatic non dynamics of the, of the ion, but with the possibility of, of uh, uh, auto-ionization. Very recently, I also developed a method to, to simulate uh, the effect of the incoherent light during the dynamics. So instead of using a pulsed laser, as usually you assume are dynamics, you can use the, the incoherent light. And for instance, in a in classic example of a retinal that takes uh, under coherent light, it makes a zomerization two, uh, 200 femtoseconds. Uh, under incoherent radiation, it may take 
microseconds or even days to get the isomerization. But I'm also very proud to tell that uh, the, the, uh, the, the development in Newton Act came also from outside my group. Uh, simulations, for instance, uh, from Mukamel's group on the, on the, on the time resolved UV pump IR probe spectrum or fingerhood doing dynamics of onion. Uh, fast the evaluation of the time derivative couplings by Smilov that later uh, was uh, introduced into Newton X as well. The names of Caspiti de, uh, developed by the group of Shozak, also including Newton X afterwards. So Newton X works as a platform that you don't need to worry about the basic stuff of dynamics and, and analysis. Everything is done there. You can you can worry about your own project. The problem is that there are block hole roads uh, hindering NX development. And there are two. First is a convoluted code. Second is an inefficient code. And these two problems must be addressed if you want to continue uh, in, in a proper way. The point is that in 2005, when we started the development of Newton X, electronic structure was really the main, uh, the main problem. It was expensive, it was the slow step. Right in 2020, that isn't true anymore. With efficient parallelization and, and methods like TDFTB or even machine learning, uh, the dynamics became as almost as fast, uh, as slow as the, the electronic structure. And then you have to take care of the dynamics. And then it comes towards the Newton X3. The challenge that we have to address are first, speed up the execution, provide a good friendly structural development environment, comply with new open data standards, and keep established functionalities. And in the last year since, it's exactly one year now, since November 2019, have been working on that thanks to the SubNano project. It's an ERC advanced grant. Uh, they have to develop methods to develop uh, for to, to simulate dynamics in a long time scale up to, up to nanosecond maybe. With this bag of money, I have been able to hire uh, Batista de Molan, who is a uh, IT. He's the brain behind the new, the new de development of, uh, of Newton X. Uh, he's the brain for, for development of the Newton, Newton X free and he has a PhD in computational chemistry. He got in 2017 and has extensive experience in, on, on IT. And he's taking the challenge one by one, starting with the, with the execution, rewriting the core loop of the program, minimizing the IO, optimize the development uh, environment by restructuring the variable management using Git, uh, GitLab uh, interface, uh, establishing uh, development protocols, Change the, the, the data standard into HDF5 using the H5 MD version and keeping at some time established functionalities through a deep level cleaning and debug of the code. And if you look at the current states of the code like this, it's as I told you, it's a mismatch of language and its styles that you have Perl and Fortran and C. In Newton X3, we are going to get a much cleaner uh, workflow where we reduce a lot of the input and the output and to have everything in, one, in, in a very consistent way. And that makes difference because if I just do a, a test with uh, analytical uh, Hamiltonian using surface hopping for spin boson Hamiltonian, 10 dimensions, 1000 femtoseconds, 0.1 femtosecond, with Newton X2, it's going to cost shamefully four hours and Newton X3 to drops to 10 minutes. It's impressive. And also thanks to not only the, 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 the core, but also the H5 MD uh, uh, format that's going to have a format that it's written, is structured in this way. It gives a very structured data, a compressed data with fast and parallel IO. It's portable and self-contained. So it's perfect for, for MD. And you see that it, uh, for dynamics, after one picosecond, it starts to make a big difference to use uh, ADF5 format instead of text. The text is the blue, uh, the, the, the green is the HDF5. You save a lot in terms of size. In terms of time, it's, there's some mixed message because it depends how we implement it. Because if you have uh, the blue is still the, the, the text, 
If we implement EDF5 with a lot of open and closing of files, it's still very slow, but as soon as we eliminate that, we can get very large gains in time after one picosecond. So this is the current status of Newton, uh, of this upgrade of Newton X in this one year of development, there's still a huge amount of work to do for, uh, for, 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 the year, uh, for the year to come. And we expect to have a first release of, the, of this program by the fall 2000, uh, 2021, so within one year. And I would like to use uh, the, my last minutes in this talk to bring some ref uh, uh, reflection about what's the future of free quantum chemistry software like New Newton X. And this, uh, this thinking, it's uh, coming to me all the time, especially thanks to this experience of this latest year doing the, the, the development. It's clear that you need IT and you need professional IT. You need that for bringing into the quantum chemistry best practice from computational chemistry. I'm not a, I'm not a programmer myself. I'm a really pretty bad on that. So I sometimes I'm even ashamed of the things that they put there in Newton X. And you need this best practice coming from professionals. And also you need maintainability of the, of the code and user and development support that only a good IT can give. The problem is that like, you don't have funds for that. In Europe, uh, every call you have, you'll be, you'll be uh, tagged either for, for a grad student or for a postdoc, it'll be very difficult to, to, to hire uh, uh, an IT uh, engineer because you don't have specific budget for that. And even you have, if you have, it's a short-term money that which IT want, would like to come to work for one or two years. That's a typical kind of money that you have. That's really a, a, a very serious issue for, for that. In the case of, of, of this upgrade of Newton X, it has been possible only because of the uh, ERC advanced grant, it, uh, it, uh, it funds the project for five years and allow me to uh, some flexibility in the budget to be a, 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 a relatively good salary for, 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 for the IT exactly to be able to go into a shop, shop market competition. That's our main problem. How can you attract and keep good professionals? When I opened this, uh, the, the position for IT, I got the answer for uh, five applications, more or less. And these five applications, uh, they are all, most of them, they are quantum chemists that want, uh, quantum chemists that want to make the transition into the IT. All very much qualified people. I end up by, uh, by selecting uh, Batista. I think he had the best profile for, for, for the job, but all of them had excellent profiles. And then it was clear to me that this comp chem to IT career path is extremely interesting for both sides, for, for the side of the, of the, uh, 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 a PI in academy and for the side of the, of the, of the IT guy. Because as you know, quant, uh, uh, quantum chemistry has a very close job market. It's extremely difficult to have, to have insertion after getting a PhD and a postdoc in quantum chemistry. And many uh, young, uh, young professionals want to make this tra career transition to IT, but it's difficult because have always the problem. How can you get your first job if you don't have the previous experience? And then uh, this kind of uh, work like Batista is doing now in Newton X is excellent to provide the experience to do, to do this uh, career uh, transition. So with that, it's just uh, uh, my, my last words on that. I uh, would like to thank you all very much and Mike for, for the kind invitation. I'm very happy to, to, to participate in this conference. I'm just sad that it's, uh, I can't be there personally. I would like very much to know this beautiful place. And so let me thank the, the source of the money, the Subnano project, also the Boost Crop, the Excellence GRM Dex and the uh, Inner Dub Split. I, I'm also going to profit to make some advertisement of my uh, fiction book, One Billion Faces, that's a collection of short stories that you can get on, on Amazon. And I thank you very much, uh, Delight and Molecule Group. And 
all of you for your attention. I'd be happy to answer any question. Thank you. Thank you, Mark.